In other international news in the District of Columbia, teens representing multiple countries from around the world, including China, India, and the United States, took to the road and traveled hundreds of miles to come to D.C. As Tamika Smith reports, the Ride to Freedom initiative is working to bring attention to human rights issues in China. During the summer, most people are relaxing and taking a break from daily life. But teens from across the nation rode 3,000 miles from Los Angeles to the nation's capital on bicycles. To understand their journey, it's important to know the issue. Christine Fang is a leader for Ride to Freedom. She says they're calling attention to a 16-year persecution of Falun Gong, a spiritual belief in China. Even though the practitioners of Falun Gong were you know, very peaceful, uh, normal average people that just, you know, added some meditation to their daily lives and had a different set of moral principles. Um, and also, people in the Communist Party also took up the practice, many, many people. So it spread all over the country, and the Communist leader was felt very threatened by what was spreading. So he, by 20th, 1999, and the 16-year anniversary is actually coming up, Feng says Falun Gong is a way of life. So it's not a religion. There's no obligations to it. You don't have to, you know, there's no formalities uh, such as, you know, you don't have to go to church every Sunday and you don't have to, you know, pay any money. You know, if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to, you don't. No one's, you know, forcing you to do anything. Ride to Freedom's ultimate mission is to save five Falun Gong orphans and bring them back to a free country. For WPFW News, I'm Tamika Smith.